Yield uh, three minutes to the gentleman from California, Mr. Aguilar. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want, I want to thank Mr. Calvert for yielding some time. As Mr. Calvert can attest, Jerry Lewis was a larger than life figure. And over the course of his four decades of public service, Jerry was able to rise through the ranks here in the House to become chair of the House Appropriations Committee. I noticed a lot of appropriators uh, here with us uh, today uh, sharing their, their memories and paying their respects as well. Mr. Lewis earned the respect of members from both sides of the aisle and worked tirelessly to promote our national defense, care for our veterans, and ensure folks back home in my community, his community, of San Bernardino County received our fair share of resources. Jerry was quick to remind people that he was a kid from San Bernardino. Maybe that's why he liked me a little bit more than he should have, Mr. Calvert, because I was a kid from San Bernardino as well. But that kid went on to serve his community by advocating for it in Sacramento and eventually here in these halls. Too often, our region in California is an afterthought. Smaller than our neighbors to the west in Los Angeles and Orange County, the Inland Empire has always been my home, was always Jerry's home, and we've always had to fight for our fair share of resources. But Jerry dedicated his career to delivering resources for our community, and his impact will be felt on the ground today and through the years ahead. He served as my family's representative in Congress for many years, and later I had the opportunity to represent him. First as his mayor, and then as his representative in Congress. He often called me my mayor. He says, how's my mayor doing today? When he would see me around town, usually at his favorite spot downtown, uh, where he was grabbing lunch with his bride. Jerry and Arlene were, and I've never shared this story with, with Mr. Calvert, Jerry and Arlene were the first individuals to call me after I was appointed to a city council vacancy a bunch of years ago. They, they called, uh, the, the council appointment happened in the evening, and they called early in the morning Pacific time, they didn't quite wake me up, but it was a morning hour on the West Coast. They congratulated me on the appointment, and Jerry talked about the importance of local government making an impact in our daily lives. He reminded me that serving was a huge honor, but also an immense obligation and responsibility. While our politics at times were different, and he was quick to remind me that, I'll always be grateful for the advice, for the friendship, for the time he and Arlene spent with me over the years, meeting in his Rayburn office, back in town, or at community events. He was always measured, he was always professional, and he always put his community first. It's a testament to his legacy that his colleagues from both sides of the aisle are here today to remember him. And my thoughts continue to be with Arlene and the family. I appreciate his contributions and his friendship, and I thank the gentleman from California for offering me some time, and I yield back.